Warning, the project you are about to attempt is at a huge risk. Please make sure to follow all safety guidelines in your area. Also, watch out for kids that's nearby and please be careful. Everything is done at your own risk. Hello again YouTube, my name is Hezekiah Carl, back on a new DIY slash informational tutorial. Now you're probably wondering, what is, why can we find in a projector TV? Now there's multiple things you can find in projector TVs, like possibly speakers, which is the main thing, fans, also even projector bulbs or projector lenses, but in this TV I already removed it. So anyway, I pulled this out of a Samsung projector TV and that's the only Project TV really did have for real though. I mean, we have five screen of course, but anyway, the bulb had originally had burnt out. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what can we find up in projector TVs. Now, projector TVs have multiple components, like like pretty much you need capacitors, all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like resistors, capacitors, IC circuits. You know what I mean? Integrated circuits, all kind of stuff. You know, and then even AV, audio, video components, parts you can also solder out, even speakers that you can wire up to even the speaker system if you have one, because I actually do with you over guys. I'm still gonna show you one. Show you one day though. Sorry, kinda stuttering. Anyway, you know it's gonna pretty much show you and explain how this is made. Now this process does take a while but anyway the only tool let me show you guys the only tool you're gonna need. If I can find this tool, where is the tool? Okay, hold up guys. I don't know what the tool is. One screwdriver. Most TVs will have maybe these star like screwdrivers, but in this case we're gonna use a Philip head screwdriver as you can see. But anyway we're gonna be using this to uh, screw the TV, find out what components we can show you that can be found out, even more components, DVI cables, which you might not be as long as you think, like I try to create, but all kind of stuff. I'm um, trust me, we're gonna see what we can find right now in this tutorial. Another thing you might take consider is pretty much some wire cutters just in case you need to cut anything. So anyway, yeah, let's continue the thing right. Guys, we have figured out and we finally took it apart. So, let's show you what we found. First, I want to show you how much wire I have found. Look at all this. This is a lot of wire. And you can use this for soldering projects, anything. You never know what wire you, you know, we use for. So, I mean, look at how much wire that I see. So, me going to Home Depot, 
probably about a couple of dollars, which is not bad, but still, you know, this much water I can use for any project. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that over there. Um, speakers now. They are very magnetic because my desk is now metal. Ooh. Speakers. I've literally got four extra speakers, and these actually sound good, like surround sound. But it might be because of the TV, but you know, it's hollow shape. But anyway, we've got to test around with these. So we're going to put these on the floor. Uh, well, on this circuit, I actually found a heat sink right here that I can use. Everything else I probably won't use for, you know, cases. I'm still trying to learn my circuits myself, so that's another reason. And I've also found an audio video cord. So anything I'm planning on doing is just removing this off right here. And possibly solder on some more stuff. So for my speaker system, I can hook it up easily. Just plugging in and stuff for doing all that soldering, wiring, and you know what I mean? Stuff like that. More wire. Even a uh, plug-in wire for things really circuits that if the plug-in wire got cut for it, I got a replacement. More wire. And also this switch right here, I think it's like a little potential thing if you guys can see I'll put it up to the camera. Anyway, even this could be something. So also screws, keep going and think about it. The screws can also be helpful for extra projects if you can see this. Screws are always helpful. You never know. So yeah, my computer just turned off. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope this tutorial shows you what you can find. To, you know, if you ever watch my DIY part of my channel, show tell me what you find in objects and stuff, and tell me recommendations you think I should open or things you think I should do in my DIY things or other stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope I see you guys in the next video. I love you, Caitlin Chapman, and have an awesome day.